Y. Well, hello, friends. Here we are again. It's BPAL Picks, my NHL Pearls of Wisdom BPAL Picks edition with our newfound uh, uh, capper friend, uh, Curtis Davis, one of the finest in the land. And uh, Curtis, how you doing there, buddy? Doing great. We had a great weekend. Uh, uh, started off a little rough, but uh, we came back uh, very strong uh, at the end of the weekend. Yeah, um, you didn't. I The picks I put in for Patreon, I should have listened to you more because you went 6-3 and three on Saturday, didn't you? Uh, I did, I did, and you know some of them I didn't, I didn't put out, but it's just what I played uh, in that. But I started 0 three and said, "Oh my gosh, what's going on here?" And then came back pretty strong the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, it was one of the, it was kind of one of those days. Um, by the way, all of you out there, if you, uh, thanks for subscribing, and because, and for those of you that became Patreon members, uh, your pearls of wisdom necklaces are in the, are in the pearlocopter right now. Melissa's working around the clock, so enough of your letters. Actually, send your letters. Guido loves to go down in the mailroom and pick them up there, but uh, but uh, we do just not letters about that. I know we're busy. We're busy. We got so many people coming in, Kyle, because we're doing so well. Um, we did a bad Saturday. A bad Saturday for us is five for five. We were five. That's that's a wash pretty much. So we call that bad. But our Sunday was superb, wasn't it? I went, uh, s yeah, seven and three on my pi on seven and three on our on our picks, uh, single picks, and hit a huge parlay, huge parlay, ten point one percenter, uh, and also a uh, individual parlay. So we did very very well. Up twenty units for the weekend. Not to Shabe. What was your favorite plays that you hit there, Biddy? Uh, well, today was the over on the uh, Edmonton uh, game. I mean, gosh, it was eight goals in the first period. Uh, I should have taken uh, the first period action, too, and I didn't even think about it, to be honest, but uh, um, that was a great play. The younger on the St. Louis uh, game um, uh, with Gibson in there. I'm glad I laid off the side because I, I would have leaned toward Gibson with Husho or whatever his name is in there for St. Louis. Uh, but, uh, you know, Anaheim can't score. And, you know, uh, what can you say now? But, uh, um, yeah, I had, uh, I had the under on that game and it, I had to sweat 13 minutes to get it. <laughs> or I think it was more than that, 16 minutes or something like that. Yeah, I had to sweat Philly. I had Philly today, and I had to sweat that one. So, yeah, uh, yeah those games we had to sweat. We've had to sweat quite a few games, actually, this year. Um, oh, this year is new, crazy. Uh, this new format, uh, it, it, you know, you got to think uh, think a little harder uh, because things are different, and uh, the things you would normally handicap um, may be a little different this year because of the situation. Yeah, like four for six. Playing four games in six, I'm starting to to not put that as much of a disadvantage anymore because you don't have to travel so much and stuff. So I'm not. I I, I made my mistakes early when I had a bad weekend there. I put too much emphasis on four four games in six. I'm I'm laying off of that now. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. It is a different environment. I, there's a, a few different things and leans that we look at and have to look at to. Uh, in our plays, no doubt about it. Um, my favorite, I had two, uh, my favorite was the uh, parlay. Uh, the over on the Edmonton game when, for Patreon, I put it down like, just like sell your house, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> when I found out Murray and Skinner were gonna be goaltenders in that game, it was, yeah, over, 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 over. That was definitely my favorite play. Um, I also really liked the Minnesota over, which we hit. Um, I actually didn't have the over in my uh, parlay on that. I had uh, the Oilers in reg, the over for Minnesota, and uh, I had an under in the, I think it was Florida, Detroit, under Florida, Detroit. So yep. we hit it. And then we had an, uh, I, had a, I had a little birdie give me an NCAA pick, and I added that on top of that. And that was Nevada over UCLA, and it became a 10-to-1, and we smoked it. 
So, woo! Gotta yeah. like that. Yeah, up big for the weekend. Uh, those were those were my favorite plays uh, off the top of my head. If you want to see what they are, because on the weekends we don't do. We only we were fortunate. We gave them a video on Friday night, didn't we, Dave? Uh, we did do a video Friday night. But normally, quite often, we don't do videos at all on the weekends. So if you want our Sunday picks for sure, you'll have to go over to Patreon and pony up a little bit, five bucks even, just to check us out. There's a five dollar a month there, and you can cancel any time. But let's get into. Uh, I keep on forgetting to put the link down in the bio. I'll put the link down there. I promise this time. Promise, promise, promise. Remind me, Curtis. Let's get to tomorrow's games. We got some cool games tomorrow. We got a lot of picks for our Patreon, uh, for our clients tomorrow, but we have some picks that we can give you for sure. Um, Pittsburgh versus the New York Rangers. We have a pick on the total, but on the line here, um, I don't know if we're kind of on the same page. I lean the Rangers on this. What do you say? Well, I, I, I lean Pittsburgh, but of course that's where my heart is. And I always tell my followers, don't necessarily follow me on my Pittsburgh picks. Uh, I think the Rangers puck line uh, will be fantastic. Uh, um, I love their uh, goalie that's playing uh, tomorrow or projected to play. And uh, you can pronounce his name better than I can. Uh, Shurkin. There you go. <laughs> Sturkin, yeah. Um, uh, I, I, you know, what, this will be their fourth game now in their series between them. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, hasn't every single game gone to overtime? Uh, yeah. Pittsburgh behind, come from behind on all three games. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you got to think that uh, the Rangers are, are, are going to hold that lead uh, in that. But, uh, you know, all the numbers say Pittsburgh, but uh, – um, with Jari in that, and uh, you know he hasn't uh, he's improved a little. It seems like, uh, uh, but I, I'm not sold on him. Uh, you know, uh, not as sold as you are on him. But uh, um, yeah, I like him. I like him. I think he's fine. I think he's just got bad defense working I in mean, front of him. So. The juice is too heavy to play the puck line straight up. But uh, I think that that would be a very safe play in some type of parlay. Uh, with something else. Yeah. yeah, and I see on uh, the Odd Shark, Odd Shark, it's the best there. I said it. You can get uh, a couple sites have it as a wash, uh, but there's like Sports Interaction, Bet Online, Interlops. They got the Rangers at 195, 199 even on Bet Online. So I personally like the Rangers ML here. I don't think they're going to lose to them again with Latang out. I just. After the whole thing that happened with uh, D'Angelo, I was wondering what was going on with the energy with that team, and I just think that that's going to loosen everything up, and the Rangers are going to play a killer game and win this game. So I'm a little stronger on the Rangers than uh, than Curtis, and uh, but the PL for sure is a good play, I think, in a parlay as well. I like that as well. Hitting a goal is just like uh, hitting your star pitcher. <laughs> I mean, he just don't do that. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I said hit goal. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Apparently what he did is he got in a fist fight with his goaltender in the hallway or something crazy like that. And I imagine uh, there's been talk. D'Angelo has been unknown to be a room disturber for quite a while. So it was probably the last final straw. And that straw was way over, like way over. They're, they're, they put him on a freaking on. They basically are giving him away to any team who wants him. A 25-year-old or 24-year-old defenseman that's had 50 points in his career before, just being thrown out there for anybody to pick him for free, yeah, they're pissed. They're pissed. Uh, Nashville versus Tampa. Sort of Isn't New Jersey notorious for picking up the rejects? <laughs> yeah, New Jersey sounds like a place. Um, I think there's a few teams out there that may give them a shot. They figure they have a really strong somebody that may have, figure they have a really strong room that can absorb his attitude. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure where that would be right now. Uh, I haven't really thought Anaheim maybe or sorry, uh, New York Islanders could really use a defenseman right now. But Lamorello isn't really one to pick problem childs up, so. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll tell you what. You'll find out tomorrow between uh, 
uh, 12 and 2 Eastern during the day, 12 and 2 Eastern tomorrow. I'm live. Uh, I'll be on with uh, the Professor Joe Broark, one of the finest minds in hockey I know. And uh, we'll be talking about this quite a bit, I imagine. So head over there and do that. Uh, so Ta Nashville, Tampa, we got we got to play on both, so we can't give that to you. you. Go over to Patreon, you can find out what that is. I really like our plays on here too. Uh, Washington, Boston. Now this is we had some discussion before we got did this video. Quite a bit of discussion on this play. Um, do we have one on the both here? Do we have one on the total as well? I think we just have the total um, in that and. Uh, um, and yeah, we do have the total, and we kind of like Washington well, PL in a parlay, right? Yeah, for your best line on that, too, because it's jumping up and down. Yeah, it's jumping up and down. Washington PL on a parlay seems like a good money pick here. You're getting 153. Parlay that with the Rangers pick we gave you. Probably not a bad move, right? Uh, that, that'd be a great one. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. We give you something there. Um, I would said, also, I would really consider taking Washington ML or Washington ML on there. So uh, you're getting good juice at 225, and Washington's rocking right now. It's just hard to do because it's hard to see Boston winning, losing back to back against any team, right? Correct. And um, uh, you know they they arguably got the better goalie tomorrow too. Yeah, I mean, even if Samsonov's in net, Rask can win a game for you at any time. Uh, it's just Washington is just playing lights out right now. So it's a very difficult pick. Uh, did we, and we have a play on the total, so we'll leave that alone. Um, Vancouver, Montreal, we ambered on about this one quite a bit as well. Um, did we put a... I think we, we, never have... did come, we never did come to a real pick on the line, did we, or did we? Um, I think uh, we're sort of we lean in Montreal, aren't we? Disagree on the side on that game. <laughs> yeah, I think we're leaning Montreal. I'm really scared of Vancouver right now. That's that's the reason why. Um, they're playing like they were playing at the end of last season, and uh, though that kind of that Vancouver team beats most beats a lot of odds. So um, I'm not really, I'm not really uh, bullish on the line here, but because Vancouver has been playing a lot, uh, because Holtby will probably be in for this game, I'm probably leaning Montreal, and I know you're more bullish on Montreal than I am, aren't you? Well, I am. Uh, you know, if you're a trend person, and and I do look at those. Uh, um, it, it's hard to argue the numbers Montreal has on Vancouver. Uh, they've uh, earned at least one point in the last 10 meetings with them um, in each game. They're 10 and two in the series. They're six and one at home, 17 and five in the series. Um, those are some pretty stout numbers there. Yeah, I know. And normally in, in normal, yeah. I just, I'm an energy guy, you're, and you are, that's why you give me those stats, and I'm an energy guy, and I start getting fady on a game when I hear stats like that. So, um, maybe, again, we're, we're, are we giving them a full parlay here? Uh, PL Vancouver at 235, that's pretty good juice to PL. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, that's uh, 170. Oh, we're giving you a free pick here. Even you don't even need to parlay that. At 170 Vancouver PL seems like a pretty decent play. Right? I agree. I might even put that in as a pick for our for a free pick. So finally we got to Cal Calgary Winnipeg and uh, I got they got I got Winnipeg as a dog on this game. What do you we can talk about everything here because I don't think we got to play really and, confident in on the total or the money line, do we? Yeah, I, I'm. I, you know, I, I'm not understanding that, uh, why Winnipeg is the dog there because uh, 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 
Cal is what played like four games in the last six days, uh, or this will be their fourth game in the last six days. Um, Winnipeg usually plays them pretty tough. That should be a very good game, a uh, very physical game, I would think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it should be a really good game too. Uh, Hollabuck should be in now. I don't think lines, I don't think line odds usually take into consideration that a goaltender is not on the top of his game. Like Hollabuck hasn't been horrible. He just hasn't been Hollabuck, you know. So that may be why you've got to figure Hollabuck's going to turn it around a little bit. Um, Calgary's probably going to be playing Markstrom. Um, I'm leaning the under on here at six, but six seems like the total to me. And uh, I'm going to, if I got to play this game, I'm probably going to take the juice in Winnipeg, right? I would think so. Uh, I definitely would take the puck line. Uh, you throw that in that parlay of all them plus one and a half uh, and everything. Uh, yeah, you're not getting much uh, but, uh, juice on the puck line, but you can throw it on an extra play at yep. 141. So puck line all the games. <laughs> and put them in a parlay. Uh, maybe that's maybe that's what we'll do on our uh, on our Patreon. Anyways, like I said, that's that's our full. That's pretty much all I got for that game. Uh, the, the card after that looks really interesting. Uh, so Listen, be, be sh- what's that? You're missing the game. Which one? Tampa Bay, Nashville. Oh, did I not talk about Tampa Bay? Na- oh no, I didn't because we we had we have both. We got to play on both for that game, so I couldn't give it to him. We got to play on the line and a play on the total. I just figured we'd bring that up so they wouldn't think we forgot about it. <laughs> I did mention. I already mentioned it already. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Hit that subscribe and the bell. All the cool kids are doing it. Don't you want to be a cool kid? I'd want to be a cool kid if I were you. You should. That's and that's just like that. You hit the subscribe button. Cool kid. Bang. Just like that. So do that. Uh, head over to Patreon. You'll even be cooler because then you'll be a rich cool kid. So I would go over there and do that. And uh, give Curtis Davis a big round of applause. He has been fantastic. Uh, loving having you, Curtis. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for joining. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna send you another pearls of wisdom necklace for free. Just 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 for being you, my friend. Well, boys and girls, that's our full 42. That's all we have to give today. You go out there and place your bets and make a lot of money. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya.